Hello guys, good morning. So today we are going to discuss about a new concept, a uh, new security concept called as Security Enhanced Linux, um, which is known as SC Linux. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a very important concept for an administrator to manage the Linux operating system. Okay, so first I'll explain you about uh, this SC Linux a bit. Okay, in this PPT. Okay, so okay, without wasting much time, let's move on to the slide. Okay, first one. Um, to, so, so today's agenda is um, I'll give an introduction about um, this SC Linux first. Okay, then we'll be discussing some points which we need to remember about SC Linux and understanding about SC Linux. Then, SC Linux states and modes what are the states we have or some modes we have and context which is very important so we have a, a different con context for user process files and other stuff so we'll discuss all those things okay then summary we'll summarize everything everything together so that is what we are going to discuss today in this um, um, SC Linux um, video okay so first introduction okay so what is mean by SC Linux SC Linux is nothing but a security enhanced Linux which is providing an additional layer of system security okay this this gives an additional security to the uh, to the Linux operating system <coughs> then who who discovered this um, SC Linux yeah, there is a agency which is in USA called this NSA national national security agency they developed or uh, they discovered this um, SC Linux okay so this SC Linux is a uh, it's nothing but it's an implementation of Mac okay so mandatory access control mechanism uh, mechanisms uh, what is mean by this mandatory access control mechanism uh, this mechanism which is in the Linux kernel which is uh, checking for allow um, checking for allowing operations after standard DAC is checked okay <coughs> this is a method actually which is in the Linux kernel which is uh, I mean applicable after the DAC is checked what is mean with this DAC next DAC is nothing but it's a discretionary access control mechanisms that means um, protecting Linux machines with the uh, basic and advanced file permissions we have discussed basic and advanced file permissions right read write execute and sticky beat and other steps right so these uh, that that security is called this DAC discretionary access control mechanisms this Mac is work Mac will work after checking the DAC permissions okay suppose there is a file there is a permission which is denied in DAC discretionary access control mechanism in that case this Mac SC Linux will never work because it's, it's already denied in um, uh, I mean basic file permissions okay so if it is denied in basic perm file permissions it won't work here in this uh, SC Linux okay basically SC Linux is not a separate uh, I mean uh, security control mechanism actually uh, this is an enhanced version of DAC you can say that it is a next uh, um, um, a version of DAC okay I'll, I'll explain you this in, in this PPT the standard access policy based on user group and other permissions known as discretionary access control uh, mechanism so which is which is our uh, basic and advanced file permissions which does not enable system administrator to create a comprehensive and fine-grained security policies such as uh, restricting specific applications to viewing log files okay so some operations cannot be performed by using DAC in order to work on that we are using Mac that is what mechanisms media mandatory access control mechanism which is used in SC Linux okay SC Linux implements mandatory access control access control then every process and system has a special security label called as SC Linux context how this security is apply, applied in uh, the Linux machine by using SC Linux context we'll discuss SC Linux context in the next upcoming slides okay um, see the last uh, so so in the last line I just mentioned that by default the policy does not allow any interaction unless a rule explicitly grant access okay 
So that's what I, I told you. If anything is denied in the DAC level, the basic file permission level, then it will never be up. I mean, allowed in uh, SA Linux also. Okay. So in the next thing, so yeah, points to remember. It is important to remember that SC Linux policy rules are checked after DAC rules. SC Linux policy rules are not used if DAC rules denied first. So then which means no SC Linux denial is locked if the traditional DAC rules prevent the access. That's what I told you a couple of times. If the DAC is denying anything, then SC Linux will not be applicable for that. Okay, so SLNS is, is not a, a separate security mechanism, it's, it's an enhanced version of DAC. Okay, so some operations we cannot perform in um, using DAC, in the, those cases we are using MAC. That means SLNX. Then understanding about SLNX. So SLNX is designed to enhance existing security solutions, not to replace them. Yeah. When SL, running SLNX, it's an important to continue to follow good security practices such as uh, keeping software update using hard to guess passwords or firewalls. Those kinds of things has to be updated time to time, then only we can use SLNX. Then this show, see this figure. Um, basically, <coughs> basically this Apache, we have Apache, HTML, uh, HTTP, then MariaDB and SQL. Both or everything is having uh, connections if you if you give i mean if you want to con i mean if you want to use that you can connect to everything but if you want to uh, have a restricted connectivity you can use SLNX. see here i i just wanted to connect apache to html and maria db to sql and these things should not communicate uh, together like apache to maria db and apache to the mysql kind of setup in those case i can use SLNX. see here SLNX allows Apache process running as Apache is running as HTTPD hyphen T as a context. Uh, this is SLNX context. Um, the HTML is uh, running as HTTP is running as HTTPD sys content hyphen T. Okay, underscore T. Okay, so Apache in this figure, Apache is allowing HTTPD hyphen T is allowing to access var HTML directory and it denies the same process to access my MySQL. So it is allowing HTTP, uh, I mean HTTP to connect, but Apache is not allowing MySQL. Here you can see from here. Apache is allowing HTML to connect, but Apache is not allowing it, um, um, a MySQL, which is the same process, but it's not allowing. So allowing a particular uh, functionality to connect so this can be done with SC Linux <coughs> then states and modes oh, first I'll explain the states and modes now and next we'll go to um, go, uh, go and check with the, the Linux, Linux machine okay so SC Linux can be can run in uh, three modes one of three modes uh, disabled permissive and enforcing Disable mode is actually a strongly discouraged because it is totally disabled. If you just disable it, that is disabled. You cannot do anything with it. Okay. Permissive mode. Um, see, the system act as if the SLN is enforcing the loaders loaded security policy, including labeling objects and other stuff. Normally, so I'll I'll give you an idea. Permissive is nothing but everything is permissive. Okay. So while not this is not recommended in production systems because this is everything is allowed if you are uh, going with permissive mode everything is allowed okay the rules will not be applicable the policies will never be applicable in permissive mode okay and enforcing uh, enforcing mode is a recommended mode in this enforcing mode SLNS operates normally it is enforcing the loaded security whatever policy you define in um, your Linux machine that will be enforced when you are operating with enforcing mode, so this is recommended in production systems. Okay, and uh, disable is totally disable. Permissive, everything is allowed. Then it won't deny any operations. Okay, it will allow everything. Okay, so enforcing mode is a default recommended mode, which is um, recommended in production systems because it is enforcing whatever you are defining in your Linux mission. Okay, that's what. Then 
<clears throat> these are the commands uh, to uh, set up the modes enforcing or set to enforce get enforce I'll be like, I mean I'll explain you this in the uh, practical part okay so next context as I told you we have a context um, for uh, all the things we have context for files we have context for process we have context for user okay normally SC Linux has two things to remember one is um, subjects and objects okay subject or um, defined for users are process so for users it, it, uh, I mean it is mentioned as subject okay uh, for process it is mentioned as subject and for object and uh, for files and directories are called as objects okay so normally two things subject subjects and objects U users and process are called as subjects and files and directories are called as objects okay so here um, if you give sc ls hyphen z okay so which will show you all the things with sc linux context okay so sc linux user role type this is a syntax sc linux user role type and level okay we'll go by with this uh, parallelly we'll go with parallelly with the slide okay first i'll show you the mode enforcing mode get enforce <coughs> just check here uh, give me a second yeah see here um get enforce get in these are the modes right get enforce if you give get enforce uh, you can see it is an enforcing mode enforcing mode right if you want to see the uh, config you can see you can change uh, this uh, a mode in three ways one is by using commands next one is modifying your main configuration file first i will show you the main configuration file vi fc sc linux then config this is the main configuration file if you open main configuration file you can see sc linux is in enforcing mode now if you change it to permissive it will work for as permissive okay so here we have some terms targeted minimum mls so these are this has some things targeted in the sense targeted process are tar protected uh, somewhat like and the linux type is targeted here okay so this is in this location we have um, what uh, SC, um, i mean sorry this is a config file this is the main configuration file of sc linux which is called this config which is lying under hc hc sc linux location okay we want to see the status of SC status is a command. SC S D A T U. Yeah, SC status is a command which is which will give you everything about uh, uh, this SC Linux. Okay, see here the current mode is enforcing policy is targeted. So targeted is protect everything what is targeted. Okay, so mode from config file is enforcing. Okay, these are all. Um, I mean everything is allowed. This is the status of SC Linux. Okay. Uh, next is get enforce. Okay. Get enforce will give you the current mode which is applied in this SC Linux. So if you want to see, if you want to set, currently it is working with enforcing. As I told you, it has three modes: disable, permissive, and enforcing. If you want to set permissive mode, how do you do that? We have a command: set enforce. Set enforce is a command. Set enforce permissive. Sorry, permissive. See now, if you go to SC get enforce, you can see now SC Linux is working with the permissive mode. Earlier it was working with the enforcing mode. Now I changed the mode. Now it is working with the permissive mode. Okay, I am going to change with the previous mode, enforcing mode. You can change it from here, else you can change it from the config file as I told you. Okay. Get get enforce. You can see enforcing mode now. Okay. This is what uh, the modes. Okay. Now next context, right? See from here next context. Ls yeah, this is a context profile. Okay. 
Um, I'll show you. In this hyphen set. So you can see. Now if you give me ls here, you can see. Uh, ls hyphen l. You can see with normal things. Right? If you give l ls hyphen lz, you can see everything with SLNS context. This is the context. As I told you, there is a user. There are three types of users we have. Confined user, unconfined user, and system user. This is system user. By default, uh, these objects are mapped with the system user and the users, the user root as well as uh, the whatever user you create. The users are mapped with the default. Okay. Uh, sorry, confined and unconfined user. I'll, I'll just show you um, here. Now you can see from here. See, this is. Um, uh, this in, this is the syntax we have we have checked this index here in the previous video see here Syst SLNS user SLNS user is system system high underscore u then role role is object high underscore r okay object is nothing but files and directories bin is a directory right that's where it's showing object hyphen r is a role type and role then type and level Level is S0, then type is bin underscore t. Okay, this is SLNS context for files. Okay, so next, next we'll discuss about the SLNS context for process. Okay, see, PS hyphen is it? We'll check one. Let's say we'll take password. Our password is not there. Okay. We'll just take. See, this is the context for uh, process. You can see here, user is system. This is a system underscore r. It's nothing but it's a process. Okay. See, so each process has the role, and this is a role, and this is um, this is a level. Okay. The system D. Okay. So this is the. Um, I mean label or the context for process system d process okay likewise each process has its own uh, slnx context okay next if you want to check the context for um, uh, user how do you check that id id hyphen z okay see unconfined the user is unconfined user what is meant by this unconfined user this unconfined user is nothing but uh, this is SLNX user. There are, as I told you, there are three types of user. One is um, unconfined user, confined user, and system user. System users are mapped for um, files and uh, directories and other stuff. So here, for user, it is mapped for unconfined user. So SLNX user is mapped with the Linux user uh, in order to apply these policies and all. So that user is called as, I mean. This is unconfined other stuff. So you can just have a uh, look at this article, so you'll be having an idea. So each SLNX user is mapped with an SLNX user via each Linux user is mapped with an SLNX user via SLNX policy. So if you go with a C manage login iPhone L, because I didn't do any configuration, that's why you cannot see from here. But you can see if you give a C manage iPhone login iPhone L command, you can see from here. The default login is mapped with unconfined user and the root is also mapped with unconfined user. Okay, and this is a range. Okay, and system user is mapped with the system underscore u that we uh, which we can which we have seen in when we are uh, taking this file director file as well as directories of uh, SLNX context. Okay, by the default thing is mapped with the unconfined user. Okay, you can just take a look at this. Okay, so uh, this is all about the uh, I mean the syntax which we have um, context which we have in the Linux operating system. Okay, so ID ID hyphen is Z is for uh, SLNX user verifying status S yes, is which I have told you which I have shown you these comments. Okay, so this is all about summary. Before summary, so we'll have a check with the few more comments also. Uh, we have discussed few commands SC status, SC manage, SC login, we have checked with a uh, few status, a uh, few things, right? We have just discussed few things. 
Now, let's say you have installed a package or uh, let's say you have a file name. If you want to change the context of the file name, you can do that, that also. Okay, if we have a command called chcon. chcon t, uh, first we have to, I'll just show you the context. First we have to give the file context. And next we have to give the file name. This is the context for changing uh, the context of SE then it's context of a particular file okay this is the command chcon hyphen t file context as and file name so what is the as a, i mean i have told you many times context right i have told you um, we have ju just discussed so many context for i mean context for files process and users and other stuff right where this context is lying where this context is there this context files are there under uh, they are in etc directory so i'll show you that also va etc etc linux targeted and context files so we have a file name called uh, let's say go with the cd this is a directory so we'll go with the cd then you can see file context va file see from here see for each and everything the context is defined from here only the SLNS is taking its context see here not here see here okay see this is a directory files right device files these are directories then user is system object bin hyphen underscore t is zero it's a level, S0 is a level. Okay, so SC Linux context is defined in the configuration file now. Okay, from here only, from this file only, it has a lot of context files. You can see for each and every process, user, and files and directories, it has a context. Okay, everything is predefined over here. Okay, from here only, okay, from here only, everything is. Uh, taken when we are uh, I mean executing a command or when we are let's say if you're creating a user Okay, that context will be taken from here only so users has a different context and uh, other things other files and directories has a different context So everything is taken from here Okay, so let's if you create a new user uh, Let's say user at user at Raj 1 User at Raj 1 One you can see uh, the secret password which I have, uh, I'm going to give. Let's say I have created a user, right? So when you create a new user, this is Linux context. Yeah, I have created a new user, right? If you create a new user, the Linux context will be created for that user by default. Go to duplicate screen. Branch one is my user. Password, my secret password. We give ID hyphen z. You can see the Linux context is created for this user. The use I have created the user just now. Well, once you create a user, the Linux context will be replicated from the context file. If you want to change anything, you can change it from there in the context file, which I have told you, which is there, uh, there under uh, or HC Linux targeted context and files under that file context okay so you can change everything from there okay this is what uh, SLNS context to files then enforcing everything we have discussed um sc manage sc manage hyphen l which has all the uh, commands this is a say c manage is a tool which is used to configure certain elements of SLNS policy without request requiring modification or recompilation from the source so if you want to see the mappings the user mappings you can see from the login sc manage login hyphen l if you want to see the customizations oh god it has gone
is the 232 Yes, see, man, is hyphen EL. Okay, if you see everything, if you want to see the uh, mappings, you can see from login. If you want to see the uh, import export, uh, importing the custom import export, um, sorry, input and output um, customizations, you can see from here. If you want to see the users, okay, manage confined user and everything, you can see from here. You can see a lot of things from here. Okay, if you want to see the ports, yes, see, manage manage port L, which will show you all the port where SLNX is um, I mean these are restricted ports where SLNX is applied okay so these are the ports S, the command is SC manage port iPhone L so you can as likewise you can see if you go to SLN manage you can see a lot of things over here you can see all the things you can see the modules SLNX policy modules like you can see from here SC manage uh, module uh, so you can see that the all the modules which are very SLNX is applied so you can see these are the modules where SLNX is applied SLNX modules okay so likewise you can see everything here in this um, uh, Linux operating system about AC manage okay so as I told you CH con command if you want to set up anything can just if you want to set up a new context for the files you can use chcon right so that's it that's all about sc linux guys i say i, I think i have just covered um, a few things for you i mean in, just an insight about uh, sc linux okay and if you need a deep insight about sc linux you can just explore into um, explore uh, i mean further and you can just learn about everything Okay, summary, we have just, just discussed about the introduction about SLNX, what is SLNX and all, then we have discussed about, we discussed about uh, points to remember, which is SLNX is not a, a, a separate advanced, a separate thing, which is the advanced version of DAC, right? Uh, if DAC, if, if DAC is denying anything, so obviously SLNX will deny, okay, if DAC, if it is explicitly uh, permitted in DAC, then SLNX will be applied for that. Okay, then uh, we have some important points and understanding about SLNX and SLNX modes, states and modes, enforcing, disable, and permissive. Uh, then we discussed about each and everything. Then we have discussed about oh, SE status command, get enforce, set enforce command, and other stuff. Then we have discussed about um, subjects and objects. Subjects are nothing but process and users and objects are nothing but files and directories, uh, which is coming under SLNX context. Each and every process has a separate context in SLNX, which will be defined uh, in HC SLNX targeted context and files under that. And the main configuration will be there under HC SLNX config, okay, where you can change everything. Uh, then we have discussed about the commands AC module, AC manage, and other stuff. Okay, guys, these are all things we have discussed in AC Linux part. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.